Interstate 277. Yeah. Alright, today we're gonna take a look at I-277 in North Carolina. This road is an auxiliary road of I-77, and it connects I-77 at both ends. Let's have a look at the map. As we can see, I-277 is a little three-quarter loop around Uptown Charlotte, and we're going to see some routes it intersects with on the way. You're watching the Xavier 456. I post new highway content every week. If you like this kind of content, then go ahead and smash that like button. And if you really like it, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Alright, I must remind you that you can request your exit or intersection down in the comments below. Next week, we'll be covering I-485, which is the ring road around Charlotte, and I'll tell you why I'm not doing I-285 in that video next week. First off, we're going to be talking about the inner loop of I-277, and we'll get to why I say inner loop in a bit. So here we are starting on northbound I-77, and we're meeting with NC-16, and it's signed North Fort Brookshire Freeway West. All this is just Kentucky treatments in Uptown Charlotte. And we're also signed South 277 Inner. Why are there two designations on there? I'll get to why it says Inner there in a bit. And we got South 16 as it's concurrent with us, and we're signed Brookshire Freeway East. Uptown Charlotte always has these attraction signs at almost every exit, and we can see that they're all designated as N E S W. They're all for the locations as which they are north, east, south, west. Here we have north, and we can see Discovery Places on there. I want to shout that out because I went to Discovery Place on my one and only visit to Charlotte, and we can see we're also shortly meeting with US-29 and NC-49, and they're signed for Graham Street. And here at exit 3B, we're getting a full-on pull-through with Inner 277. That's our designation, Inner and Outer and South 16 for Brookshire Freeway still. And here is where he meets with US-74, which signed along with NC-27, is getting signed east for Independence Boulevard. I'd rather see uh, Control City on there for like US-74 on there, preferably Rockingham. And we can see Inner 277 is signed with US-74, South 16, and West 27, forming a quad highway concurrency, and they're just signed for John Belk Freeway. We've changed our freeway name. Here is where NC-16 splits off, and it is signed for 4th Street and 3rd Street. And in this direction, NC-16 is going to be running on 3rd Street, because Bardbound runs on 4th Street, just to get to I-277 the other way. And here is where we meet back with I-77 at the southern interchange with it, and it's also signed with US-21, South for Columbia, absolutely right, and Statesville, absolutely wrong. That should be something else. So now we're gonna take North 77 back to where we started. And here are back at NC 16 and 277's Northern Interchange for Brookshire Freeway. All right, now we're gonna turn around and talk about the outer loop of I-277. So here we're gonna start at the very same interchange we just left off on, although we are on the I-277 outer perspective where it ends. And we can see North 16 is signed to South 85 for Brookshire Freeway. And North 77 is signed with North 21 to North 85 for Statesville. Well, guess what? Since you're having North 85 on there, be a better option to just put Greensboro on it. And we're signed South 77 and 21 for Columbia. Great job. And here is where we get our exit for 277, US 74, and NC160 for, Wil for Wilkinson Boulevard, John Belk Freeway, and West Boulevard. And that's where we'll be exiting as South 77 and 21 are still pull through for Columbia. Here we get a nice view of the uptown Charlotte skyline, and we can also see Bank of America Stadium, home of the Panthers. And we're now designated as Outer 277, East 74, and 27. And here is where we meet with NC 16. It's signed south for Kennedy. Worth Avenue, 3rd Street and 4th Street, and runs on the same street heading that way. And now we're just getting a pull through Outer 277, East 74, and North 16 just for absolutely nothing now. We don't even get a name of the freeway. Although we do also get information for I-77 and I-85 right on the right side of the road. That's helpful for us. And here is where you split with US-74 and NC-27 East for Independence Expressway, which is weird because on the other side it got Independence Boulevard. And we are now signed for 
Brookshire Freeway, I-277 North 16 to I-85. And here is where we meet with US-29 and NC-49. Now they're signed to Church Street and to Graham Street. And we're also coming up to I-77 and I-85 very quickly. And here we come back to where we started, right at the interchange with I-77, the northern one. And we get Control Cities of Columbia, Brookshire Freeway, that's not a Control City, that's a Kentucky treatment, and Statesville. And since you have North 85 on there, that should be Greensboro. All right, that'll be it for this episode of NC Provincial 11. Next week, we're going to encircle Charlotte on I-485. That is pretty much the only interstate I've driven on in North Carolina. That is with the exception of I-77 heading in from South Carolina. But anyways, we'll see you then. May peace be with you.